Welcome to Windows 8 and GameMaker Virtual Machine Setup. For this demo, it's going to be very easy to get Windows 8 set up on a virtual instance on your system. We're going to download an image that contains Oracle VirtualBox, a Windows 8 90 day trial, Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows 8, and YoYo Games GameMaker Studio. Now, you don't have to do this particular virtual setup we're going to do here. If you want to do it manually or upgrade your system, you can download a Windows 8 trial and install Visual Studio Express and YoYo Games Game Maker Studio yourself or you can use your own virtual software of choice for this demo though I'm gonna use Oracle VirtualBox because it's free runs on several prior versions of Windows so we'll go to aka.ms slash Windows 8 Game Maker and there are two files here one contains setup directions and the other one is a 5.5 gig win8developer.rar.exe file. So go ahead and download the exe file. Generally, it's a self extracting file. You may run into issues. In that case, you'll want to download winrar, and the directions are in this RTF file. Once you have it downloaded, double click on it. If you get an error that looks like this, then you will need to use winrar, the actual full install, to extract it. And that's simply a matter of right clicking on the file and saying extract here. And that's going to extract two files. The first is the VirtualBox install. VirtualBox again is a free software uh, by Oracle. It's kind of a no frills virtual solution. It'll get you up and running quickly though. The other file, win8dev.vdi, is a 17 gigabyte hard disk image and this is what contains a sysprepped Windows 8 trial that has various software packages all ready to be installed on them. For example, GameMaker Studio. So we'll let this extraction finish and we'll go ahead and set up VirtualBox and run the instance then. Both files have extracted now. I'm going to run the VirtualBox setup. Now I've actually already installed this on my system. So I'm going to cancel out of this, but you'll want to continue and install the software. And the second file, if you want to move it to another place on your system, you can. I'm going to keep this one right here. And here's a little trick. If you copy this file, either right click and select copy or press control C on your keyboard, that will actually copy the path to this file as well. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to launch VirtualBox. Select new, call this Win8 Game Maker, and you'll want to select Windows 8 64 bit. If you don't have the 64 bit option available and you only see Windows 7, Windows 8, and no 64 bit option, there's a likely chance another virtualization software in your system might be interfering with it. If you have the Windows Phone SDK installed, that uses Hyper V. So what you can do is check under your Windows configuration for uninstall um, your programs and features for Windows so you can change your features and make sure turn your features on or off make sure that Hyper-V is unselected and you can give that a try restart your computer and see if the option appears. So again if you don't see the 64-bit options and you know you're running a 64-bit system, make sure that Hyper-V is not running. And also check your BIOS. There are various posts online. You'll want to make sure that virtualization is enabled inside of your BIOS. If you're running an older system, you might not be able to run virtualization software. So here I select Windows 8 64-bit. And in this case, we'll give it 2 gigs of RAM. Now you have the option here of creating a brand new virtual hard drive. But the point is we want to use the existing one that we had, the one that we just extracted from that file. And if I press Control V in the file name text box, rather than pasting that 17 gig file, notice we get the full path to the file. And that works on Windows Vista on up. So Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8. So we'll say open. And that disk can expand to 25 gigs. But it's only going to take up, right now, it's a 17.5 gig file. 
and we're going to click start. We get some messages about differences in 32 bit to 24 bit color you can read. And this is a brand new Windows instance. So you're going to have to run through an initial configuration. Accept the licensing terms, read the licensing terms, and accept it if you choose to accept it. Then you're going to want to set up some of these basic settings here. Name your PC. And I'm just going to choose the default Express settings. Now you can sign in with your Microsoft account, in other words, what was known as a Live ID. Or you don't have to. You can say Next if you want. To, or do sign in without a uh, Microsoft account and select Microsoft or local account. So if you really want to use a Microsoft account you can do that and it'll pull down your settings especially if you're running multiple Windows 8 devices you'll probably want to do Microsoft account to synchronize your settings or you can use a local account. For brevity here I'm just going to use a local account I'll call it Win8 Dev Windows is finishing the configuration and you'll get a couple startup tips here for Windows. And now we're all set to go. If we click desktop and click on the folder here or if you liked the way of using the run command you can still do window key R for run and you can just type C colon backslash there that was always my preferential way of opening up Explorer but either way we want to go to your C drive and the lab files folder and the first thing that you're going to want to install is Visual Studio Express but first let me change the view here I like to see my file name extensions and I also like to see hidden items. So let's go ahead and double click on the ISO for Visual Studio Express. And really the two setups that we're going to need here are Game Maker Studio and Visual Studio Express. And if you want to install the Add SDK, you want to do that one as well. So let's go ahead and run the Visual Studio Express ISO. This will require a registration. It is a free piece of software, but you still have to register it. So I'm going to agree to the license terms, install. Because Game Maker Studio does use some components that Visual Studio Express installs, you're going to need to install Visual Studio Express first. Okay, Visual Studio Express has finished installation, so I'm going to launch it and I'll be prompted to register this. So go ahead and click register online. And you'll have to log in with your Microsoft account. Whoops. And it's just a simple registration. Fill out a couple fields on here. I'm going to be using this for personal use and continue. Making software for private use. You can select whatever you want there. And then you're going to be given a registration code. Copy that out and just simply paste that into the registration window here. Product key is being validated, all good to go. So it's a pretty easy setup process. So let's go ahead and run Visual Studio Express. I'm going to hit the window key on my keyboard. Another option is you can come down here in the lower right hand corner and open the charms bar. And on the charms bar itself, you can see that, oh, there goes Visual Studio. 
it was running anyway in the background. I'll show you another way to launch it in one second here. The first thing you're going to be prompted is get a developer license for Windows 8. So you do need a license. It is free. This is different than your Windows Store token. If you just want to develop, you can develop all day long and that's free. You just have to acquire a free developer license. And you can do that right within Visual Studio Express. Just go ahead and click on Agree. Getting a developer license. Log in with your live account. Or I should say your Microsoft account. And there we go. My developer license expires on this machine. 829-2013, so I'm all good to go. What I was going to show you, another way to launch Visual Studio Express, is you can go down to the charms bar, and you can click on start here, and then you can start typing VIS, and you can see your Visual Studio links come up here. You have, it's actually VS Express is the way it's spelled full Visual Studio version for since Visual Studio Professional Visual Studio Ultimate is spelled out Visual Studio and here it's VS Express. So actually I can just type VS and there's the option there. The other thing you can do is simply hit your window key and type VIS, I'm sorry, VS and it's the same thing. So window key VS and enter. So Visual Studio is installed now we want to go ahead and get Game Maker set up. So we can go back to our C colon backslash lab files folder on our C drive lab files and go ahead and run GM Studio installer. Now after this installs it's possible that there are updates available and you may get prompted that you will need to install .NET 3.5, which Game Maker Studio uses. If that's the case, just make sure you have an internet connection, and we'll go ahead and complete the configuration for you. So the install finishes, but you can see that an app on your PC needs the following feature. So just say download install this feature, and Windows will do this all automatically for you. It should just take a couple minutes. So the .NET Framework 3.5 was successfully installed. And I'm going to go ahead and run Game Maker Studio. And as I mentioned before, you might see some updates available. Actually, this is the first run, so it's going to extract some assets. This isn't actually a version update. Now that the assets have extracted, GameMaker is going to run. And you have the option of choosing beta channel or stable channel for releases. I'm going to choose stable channel. This copy of GameMaker Studio is unlicensed. Well, I want to go ahead and use the free edition. I'm going to say go ahead and install the updates as well. It says hey a new version is available. Actually the new version is a beta so I'm just going to go ahead and keep the version I have and say remind me later. Then I'm going to select use free edition and it's going to go ahead with a free licensing process. License successfully. It needs to be restarted for licensing purposes. Let's go ahead and restart it again. Now things will run a little slower because this is a virtual environment. And there we have it. Game Maker Studio is all set to go. If I say new project, there we go. And just to see some actual preferences and settings here, if you notice under file preferences there's a Windows 8. And this will actually make a check to see that the Windows 8 SDK is there. If Visual Studio Express or Visual Studio is not installed, you won't see this pass. You can actually acquire developer license here, but that's not necessary because that's a step that we did when we first ran Visual Studio Express. You can also check under Resources, Global Game Settings, and there's a page 
on the net under Yo-Yo Games Game Maker that is listed on the prepare page for the session talks about the settings that you can use in here general settings what to use for your package name display name all to customize your application and as I mentioned you can also go ahead and install the Windows 8 add SDK And this will allow you to use Microsoft's Pub Center to provide ads in your applications. And that's it. Your virtual environment is all set up and ready to go. So to recap, we downloaded from the Windows 8 Game Maker link, and that contained VirtualBox, our Windows 8 trial, which under C colon backslash lab files had Visual Studio Express and the YoYo Games Game Maker Studio installs all ready to go. You can, however, download everything separately if you want to configure that. This was just the easiest approach to get everything up and running under one virtual instance pretty quickly. Thank you very much, and good luck developing your games.